Hey, hey, what's up, my little tattletoes? Come in and shut the door. Remember how everybody was talking about how Dream's name was trademarked and the Kardashians had Black China in the bind that Dream would never be able to make money to the point of she isn't even allowed to have her own social media. And by allowed, I mean that the Kardashians trademarked everything having to do with Dream Kardashian. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please go look. Go check out my lives. I did a really in-depth breakdown about it about two months ago. However, that's all you need to know for right now to enjoy this video. However, it's finally started. We knew this day would come. Chris Jenner has commodified Dream Kardashian. You listen, you can say what you want. And I'll say this, the devil works hard, but Chris Jenner works harder. Y'all, I'm going to show you the the commercial right dream looks cute as a button then meet me after the jump because we have to talk about why this is actually really a dangerous dangerous game but one that black china might not might be able to actually play but maybe even win all right here's the video hi dream thanks so much for squeezing me in this morning what are you up to lovey I'm working really hard at getting my summer glow on. So what's on the agenda today, boss? Reading a book? Drawing a picture? Playing a game? Let's play memory match. I actually have a great memory. I can remember the names of all of my children and almost all of my grandchildren. Oh, somebody got a match. Woohoo! So what's the latest? Just living life. That's exactly what I wanted to talk about today. Life. Listen up. Life is a game, and there are a few lessons I've learned along the way. Number one, always look at the world with rose-colored glasses. Très chic, dreamy. Number two, a positive attitude is everything, and you should always see the glass as half full. And close enough. Oh, wow, are we going to scan? So cute. Is there anything you can't do? Wait till I play whack-a-mole. Dang. Oh my God. This is so crazy. I won, I won, I won, woo. <laughs> and that brings us to number three. Be a good sport because winning isn't everything. You wanna go again? Oh, you better believe it. All right, you little stinker. And here's the most important lesson of all. Nothing beats family. Getting to spend time like this with you that's the secret to my glow. Yes! I won, I won, I won, I won, I won! You're doing amazing, sweetie. <laughs> okay, so before we actually get into how this might actually be a very dark thing, I gotta say, Dream is as cute as a button, and I find it so amazing that she has the same voice as her mom. Like, it's the same tone quality, that husky, nice voice. Anyway, a lot of people point it out. Oh no, the Kardashians are selling Dream. They're taking advantage of Dream. Ah, da, 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 da. Which, yes, I'm just saying because they usually take advantage of everyone and sell everything as far as what I see in my opinion. But I do want everyone to know that and Dream is, of course, under 18. She is a minor child. Rob and China have 50-50 custody. That's not exactly true, actually. Despite Rob putting it out in the media and false reports circulating, Rob does not have primary custody. They have shared legal custody and they have shared physical custody. China actually gave Rob that because she wanted the kids to be involved, of course, in their parents' life. That's what happens, unlike with Kim saying she wants Kanye to be in the kid's life but then fighting him when he wants actual custody. China willingly gave it. What does that mean? The physical custody means, okay, you guys, China has her four days a week, Rob, I'm sorry, China has her one week, Rob has her the other week. However, legally, that means that China would have had to sign off in order for Dream to participate in this commercial. I repeat, China 
would have had to sign off since she is half of the legal guardian, as well as Rob since he's the other half for her to appear in this commercial. The same way a, uh, a parent can block a child from being on reality TV, you can also block the child from being on a commercial. So the fact that Dream is in that commercial and honestly, there's no lawsuit coming. It lets me know that Black China was okay with that, which is good because, of course, I'm sure when China is very successful, Rob is very successful, and I'm sure this money will go something to Dream's current welfare or her future benefit. But here's my concern, and just hear me out. To me, and if you're new to my channel, you know that the, I think the Kardashians can be incredibly petty and vindictive and not let things go. I know Kris Jenner is the master of putting on a charming smile, sending a beautiful bouquet of flowers and being the hostess with the mostest. But I saw the way they literally tried to take the main income source from Dream's mother away. I saw the way after she won a lot of her complaints against them. They tried to make her pay 400,000. I saw the way in the court filings, Kris Jenner called China ghetto and stupid and loud. And in my opinion, made a lot of very negative, very problematic. Some people would even say racist comments about the mother of her grandchild, which honestly is the only person that actually bears the Kardashian name not turning it into anything about patriarchy or misandry. No, no, no. I'm saying in terms of marketability, Dream Kardashian, as well as St. North Chicago and Psalm West are going to be the most marketable children as far as name. The Kardashians want their name to live on into infamy. They're working hard, in my opinion, to make sure that happens. Dream naturally has that name. Now hear me out. I feel like the Kardashians are very vindictive. I feel like they're very jealous. And I feel like they wouldn't be above treating somebody as if they were not deserving of that title based off their dislike for the mother who was Black China. Now, why would you say that? Well, I look at Kanye West, somebody that built Kim's career, somebody that actually put the whole family on. He, I mean, everybody but Chloe. Chloe was always under Kim. And of course, Courtney. But as far as Kendall, even Kylie and the association of Kanye West taking them from D-list reality stars and putting them at the height, making them the darlings of the Met Gala, making sure that people respected them. Kanye West, literally, you can say, made the Kardashian family. Combined, of course, with Kris Jenner's ingenuity, her marketing sense. You know, she's a fantastic mar manager. You would want a manager like that on your team. Okay. But look at the way after they got done using Kanye for everything they were worth. Not only did they discard him, but they literally inundated the press with what I believe to be a racist narrative about how he was a scary, violent black person. Not unlike they pretty much did Black China, Jordan Woods, and every Black person, man or woman, that's come close to their family. I'm just saying it's my opinion. I say all this to say, the way they treated Chloe, the way they gave her low self-esteem, the way she still thinks that she is the ugly one, the one that's not worthy, the one that the only way she can find a place in the family and be accepted is to be everybody's emotional doormat, including the men she dates. Again, do I know this to be fact? I don't know. This is from the outside looking in and my opinion on the family and their family dynamics, okay? I made a lot of videos. Listen to them and make up your own mind, right? I'm not telling you what to think. I'm just giving my opinion. I am saying this. The thing I believe that Black China has to worry about is them trying to Khloe Kardashian dream. Take her beauty, her talents, her gifts, make her feel like she is undeserving and unworthy. Look what they did to Dream's father. Seriously, look what they did to Robert Kardashian. Now imagine what they'll do to somebody whose mother they can't stand. You guys, I think Black China's up it, up on it. She has Tokyo Tony as a grandmom. Dream has the best chance in the world she can to escape the Kardashian curse. Not because she's lacking and not because she's not deserving, but because they only want the people that they want to shine, shine. And Dream, in their eyes, I don't know. What do you guys think in the comments? Please let me know. I'm super, super interested to see. But the one good thing we do know is for whatever reason, Black China did sign off on this. 
And I trust your judgment as a parent. Anyway, my little tattletales, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you later. Mwah.